Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. This is a uh, no, tutorial based um, research channel um, and what I normally do is I show you the research in action, I show you the results and ultimately um, to guide you um, to do this yourself basically. Um, it's the only way to get um, confirmation with this um, subject. So, um, today, um, not so much um, I'm going to show you, um, uh, what do you call it, um, the research in action, but I'm just going to show you the results. So I'm going to give you some information and give you some results. Um, uh, the previous videos I've been doing are all very long, um, but that does involve the research as well, which is very time consuming. Um, but it does give you, um, it allows you to understand what I'm finding and it enables you to see it easier. Because um, it's not altogether um, easy, it's not 4K, it doesn't work like that. So, um, and sorry for. Um, repeating myself uh, to those people who are actually following the channel um, but that's the way it is at the moment um, uh, apologies for not um, uploading um, more videos um, it just up again it's time there's so much to do outside this platform so uh, let's just get on with it right so today we're going to be looking at um, enchiladas which is, oh my god, uh, I get so confused sometimes, but there we go, that's the way it is, uh, Saturn Moon. So, um, there's a lot of information um, on this planet. Um, I will give you a few things, like I always say, uh, pause and have a read, and especially pause uh, when I'm moving around the... Um, the enhanced image so you can get to grips with uh, what's going on okay so and here's a bit more sort of stuff it's an icy planet it's very small it's only about 312 miles in diameter um, but there's tons of information about it um, this is a this is infrared images um, I think taken by Cassini Huygens, my favourite logo. If you're interested in that, um, so okay, this is the image we're looking at from the photo uh, NASA Photo Journal site. Um, bit of information there, and this is of the North Northern Territory. There we go. Okay, so this is the image in question now. Um, you are an amateur astronomer or anything like that. This is this is the the, the best you're gonna be seeing at seeing it at um, unless you're using uh, some imaging software such as GIMP, um, which is what I'm using at the moment, um, or Photoshop. So. Um, As you can see, it's very pixelated, um, very bleached out. Um, as per usual, as per usual. Um, okay, right. Let's have a look here. Do excuse me, I can't see a thing. Um, is that it? on a minute okay the magical pause button okay so there we go um, all right okay yeah, I'm a bit rusty I haven't done anything for a while so anyway I think we're just going to get into this uh, like I say I'm not going to do the research in action um, I'm just going to show you around. Um, I've sorry for saying I'm all the time. Now, this is quite possibly going to be a short video. Um, 
I've done a lot of long ones. Um, don't really seem to be getting anywhere with them. Um, and uh, all the information and the idea behind it is there. So <clears throat> I'm just for a while just going to be showing you um, the results that I've been getting. So uh, yet again. Um, the surface of this moon is completely saturated, covered with um, structural anomalies, as we're going to call them. Um, I don't know if you can see across the horizon here how unusual it looks. Um, I should have layered this up so you can get a, an idea of the difference between I can sort of fade in and out if you've seen that before it's quite a nice way to do it um, but as always um, please do because I'm going to be moving through this reasonably quickly um, just pause and give yourself time to um, adjust to the image um, and uh, see what you can see um, I'm straight away here you can see uh, there's lots of uh, square angles, um, points, and again this classic sort of uh, terracing platform type um, um, look, which uh, seems to be apparent on pretty most everywhere that we're looking. You know, from the moon everywhere. I can't remember how many we've done now, but um, we're x amount of the way through or i am through featuring um, all the planets and moons asteroids um, which we can um, get information on uh, get photographs of uh, it's always a surprise to me um, It's crazy. I mean, in relation to the amount of views I get, um, in relation to the, uh, the amount of subscribers I have, um, there's probably people having a look and not uh, maybe disregarding it or shying away from it. I think people find this uh, subject, or shall we say the reality of it, extremely frightening, scary. Um, I don't know, tell me what you think. Um, it is, it's, uh, it's crazy. See, look, I'm doing the research, I can't help it. There's so much to do. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna label this, uh, part one as well, because, um, <clears throat> I've got a fair few, um, photographs of, of, of this uh, place with uh, you know of other areas and things and uh, it's well worth having a look at um, and you know if, if the channel doesn't get off the ground um, then it's it's me cataloging this stuff for me um, saying that I'm doing this for uh, the people shall we say it's uh, People need to realise what is going on and how much that they've been lied to, basically. Um, I could quite confidently say as well, I think, that uh, any professional astronomer or NASA scientist, imager, um, wouldn't well they would be foolish to enter into a debate about this because there is no debate it's simply right okay follow my instructions go and do this and you tell me why these things are in the photographs and that's the reason that's part of the reason why i think people are so scared of this 
here, here we go, look, I'm doing the, uh, anyway. I will be getting in a lot closer as well. Let's have a go. Looks very blurry, looks very nondescript. But once you've spent some time um, viewing this, it will make sense. Or not is the case, because it's very confusing, because you're constantly questioning what you are actually looking at. So yeah, there's a fair few people that use magnifiers and I still haven't tried it out yet. Um, so I'll try and give you some views for the magnifiers amongst you. Now, if you're new to this, then you'd be having a look around and things like this, this area here, I hope you can see my, uh, my cursor thing. Um, would be very, well, I would be going, you know, what the hell is that? So once you've found an area like this, See, this is part of the thing, it's just highlighting it, bringing it out so you can see it. How I'm seeing it. You know, this is a big question. Everyone sees everything differently. I've mentioned this before. Um, people see lots of different things. Uh... And that's, that's just the way it is. But like I say, if you are new, you need to give this stuff time. It's right, like terraced, platformy type areas. There seems to be that element as usual as well as like everything seeming to connect or ending up in like an epicenter. Um, very familiar. If you are watching something like this for the first time, I'm not drawing on this. I'm pulling different tones of pixels out of the image with this tool. It's all explained in previous uh, videos. Um, there are a few subscribers that are doing this themselves. I haven't heard from them for a while, um, so I hope they're all right and they haven't lost their minds. <laughs> 
do I do say occasionally, you know, um, this is... Once you start doing this, um, your perceptions, um, your brain, the way you think about things will change. So, uh, there is a bit of a warning there. said this before as well before I started doing this um, I used to watch uh, a lot of channels all sorts of stuff um, interesting many many things um, but there was just that and still that underlining you know it's just pictures on a on a uh, media platform and um, I'm interested, I want to believe, I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's this, that and the other. And that's how a lot of people view it. And they don't want to go any further. It's their little... Um, ...alternate reality cozy area, you know, the mind drifts, you know, you wander about stuff and things like that, but um, if you want to enter into a different level of uh, realisation, I suppose you'd put it like that, then uh, the only way to do it is to um, Research it yourself. I think I did this little area before we started. Um, so there's an element, I'd say there's always an element of um, perspective or the, 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 the angle of inclination, especially when the or, uh, orbiters are orbiting. Um, so you get some perspective, you can see sides, um, shadows, the tops of things. Um, hold on, I've got a little picture here, I think. Uh, there. It's like of a, a cityscape. I've just blurred it slightly, just so, it, so it's not quite so crispy. Um, but as you can see, you can see the tops and the sides, the shadows. It's that type of sort of thing. And it will change across the the moon itself, you know, depending where you are. Those features will get um, shorter or longer, sort of thing. But this would have been a crater. Let's just have a quick look. There it is there. see uh, even if I um, increase the DPI on this um, you still wouldn't be seeing very much at all so pause and view What I see is um, platforms, um, adjoining platforms running into a crater area. On these platforms are buildings or structures. Um, here's like a platform here with something sticking out the top, if you can see that. something sticking out of the top there there's one here just highlight that a bit more uh, 
I have shown you in previous videos how you get so far into the image. Um, and there are minute details that you can start bringing out. Some images are better than the others. Uh, they're all different. And you just apply the, you apply the, uh, the tools um, the way that the image denotes it, basically. sticks out I just showed you that there you take a look at this central area you imagine this going backwards and these areas here sticking up you can see the shadows so it's traveling sort of going back the big building here So remember, this uh, this moon is um, 312 miles in diameter. So if we there's a fair old lump there. try and work out some sort of scaling here was it yet again um, these things seem to be massive Very, very busy, very compact, 
so much going on. This is this is the, the, the what you have to get your head around. And um, it takes a while. I'm just going to play with this a little bit. See if you get anything out of that. So used to doing like sort of uh, long videos. I don't feel I'm uh, I'm doing enough for you here. The image is still quite small. You can see down here it's under a gigabyte. Um, so the more I get through the the image the larger I can make it then I can go in and get more details out so it's an ongoing thing um, and I'll try and update as many things as I possibly can like I've said before um, so I hope um, you can see uh, see this um, and like I said, I'm going to be doing more, more like this, um, just to see how it goes. And um, let me know what you think. Um, I think I've done enough videos with you showing the research um, as I'm doing it. Um, so anyone who is interested in, in starting this... Um, Start from the beginning, it's quite funny, funny videos, stuff I say. Um, and there are tutorials to go with it. Um, it's very simple, self-explanatory. Um, and if you do have any problems, just give us a shout and I'll help you as best I can. As simple as that. So, okay guys. I am going. There you go. As usual, thanks for watching. Um. Please like and share this, you know, um, on all your media platforms and stuff. And uh, let's get it out there. Okay, guys, cheers.